Massachusetts Senate President Karen Spilka kicked off the legislative updates at this past week's Board of Selectmen meeting. Uh, okay, um, just legislatively, um, you know, I think all of you know, just for in terms of revenue and local aid and, and Chapter 70, just a real brief overview, and then I may just mention a couple of things that, that I'm focusing on. Um, the ja through January, actually now through February, today we got the February uh, revenue numbers that we are uh, under benchmark. Our revenue is not coming in exactly the way that we would have wanted. Um, most of it is capital gains. Some of it is for budget. So we're trying to be cautious with what we do with uh, funding uh, things f to finish up this year as well as for next year. Uh, but we did base um, and build a budget on a 2.7% revenue increase from 19 over 20, which would start this uh, July. You know, as you know, the governor came out with his bill proposal, budget proposal in January. The House will do theirs in April, Senate in May, and then hopefully our conference committee can work it out and have a, a state budget by the end of June. Um, but the state's fiscal health actually remains strong. So uh, we were above benchmark for February, which helped you know, bring us up. We think a lot of it may have to do with the federal tax changes that occurred that would have been filed in, in December and January, normally under our process, and is being extended for several months because of the federal changes. Um, we, so Overall, our economic outlook still remains good. And, um, you know, in talking with the governor, they're not worried yet, or administration and finance, about the dip in, in revenue and it being <coughs> under benchmark. State Representative Carolyn Dykema started off her update by talking about public transportation. The transportation conversation is definitely something that has, has escalated recently. I think the congestion on the Mass Pike has reached new levels. And if you look at um, the statistics that have come out, that, that sort of bears out. And I think one of the uh, downsides of an up economy, it's exciting to have all the jobs, but I think there's also a, a commensurate increase in traffic, which is challenging for anyone to go into town. And um, one of the things I've been focusing on has been the commuter rail. I know there are a lot of commuter rail riders here in Hopkinton. Uh, I personally have two commuter rail stops in my district, the one in Southboro. Uh, and the one in Westboro, and uh, of course at Ashland, I know is, is used frequently by Hopkinton residents, and uh, we do not have the reliability nor the frequency that we need to have uh, given the economic opportunity here in Metro West and given the number of commuters that we have going into Boston. Um, I thought I would mention a couple of uh, local things that we've been working on. So there was a senior property tax exemption for here in Hopkinton that I know was passed at town meeting, and we worked to get that passed in the legislature, and that was done, which was uh, great to work with you folks on that, uh, signed by the governor in August of 2018. Um, I also filed, uh, many of you know I'm doing a lot of work on veterans, and I've, that's been since the beginning of my tenure in the legislature, and I work very closely with the VSO, Sarah Bateman, who is a regional VSO here and works closely with veterans, and uh, there is a uh, fund, a veterans fund, that allows uh, for certain uses for uh, monies collected through the town to go out to support veterans' needs, one-time needs. Um, including uh, oil, for example, and a few other things. And, and in meeting with the veteran service officer, we found that there are some needs, specifically legal cost and short-term rental assistance that are not currently allowed by the, by the state law. So I filed some legislation that would expand the uses um, of those funds here locally in all the towns um, served by our, our VSOs to do that. View the full legislative update in the March 5th Board of Selectmen School Committee joint meeting broadcast.